Hi, Emi teaches kids electronics through building and playing. We have monthly project subscriptions where we send your family a new electronics kit each month to build and learn from. We also have free interactive lessons online. You may or may not already know, but you can actually make a magnet with electricity. It's called an electromagnet. All it takes is a bunch of wire, specifically magnet wire, a battery, and a steel bolt. This following experiment is part of an EMI hands-on project curriculum, which we are designing and will be launching shortly. But making an electromagnet is so cool, we decided to make a small video segment about it in the case your family wanted to try to build one yourself. The wire used is specifically designed to make magnets. It's super thin and is actually insulated despite looking like a bare wire. A steel rod that is susceptible to magnetic pull should be used. In our case, we decided to use a steel bolt you could find at the hardware store. After wrapping the wire around the bolt about a gagillion times and stripping the ends of the wire of insulation, we connect the ends of the wire to the battery. And voila, we have a magnet. We wrap the threads of the bolt with masking tape to prevent the sharp metal threads from accidentally cutting the very, very thin wire. So with our electromagnet, if you haven't noticed, we're effectively short-circuiting this battery, generally a big no-no under any circumstance. A short-circuited battery, one where both terminals are connected with just wire, can lead to the battery and wire getting very, very hot, potentially causing injury. But the magnet wire we used actually acts like a really weak resistor because it is super long and super thin. Hence, the wire itself has the resistance necessary to keep current flow from getting out of control. Even with that said, you can actually feel the heat on the coil of wire generated by the electric current that is moving super fast through the wire. At the end of the day, this experiment requires extreme caution and should be done under parental supervision. Please wear the necessary protective eye gear. If you ever smell something burning, unplug the wires immediately. As a matter of fact, to be super safe, you should disconnect your electromagnet from the battery every couple of minutes. Then let it cool for a couple of more minutes before using it again. And never ever use anything but an AA alkaline battery. Use only alkaline. Never use any other type, especially never ever a rechargeable battery. And don't ever use any other size besides AA or smaller. Carefully and cautiously made, an electromagnet is an extremely magical experiment. Please visit our blog for more information about how to make the electromagnet. And stay tuned for the EMI project that will be using an electromagnet as part of its curriculum, where we will teach your family how the electromagnet works and how a magnetic field is created with electricity. Thank you.